We're not going to recap the women's soccer team. I'm, I'm joined with, well, now second-year head coach Tom Riley. Uh, coach, congrats on a very uh, successful first season. Uh, nice to see the improvements with the team, and it's been fun covering you guys this year. Uh, so speaking of improvements, seven nine and one on a year, two and eight in, in the Centennial Conference. And if you look back to last season, we didn't pick up any conference wins. So uh, fans and, and players are very happy with uh, the overall results. Um, enough for me. Um, what do you think about the season? Well, um, I think we kind of, as the season went along, we've said we've had plenty of markers of improvement. Mm -hmm. um, there's been progress. Uh, style of play, competitiveness in games. We've won a couple of conference games. Um, those aren't necessarily markers of success, uh, mm -hmm. but improvement. And our performances were, uh, were strong all year. We really were in every game for the most part. So, uh, so we're happy with that part of it. Um, I, I personally was a little disappointed that we couldn't see out the year with a couple more wins. I think the girls feel the same way, which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, let's jump away from the team. Let's focus on, on you. Um, <laughs> we, I, you know, we've been following you, especially like from a coaching perspective, uh, throughout the season, but overall, uh, what did you learn throughout the entire season as a, in your first year coaching college? Good question. Um, <laughs> I've always been a, I, like to be as prepared as possible. So I've always tried to study the opponent and try to know as much about my own team, uh, both what we can handle tactically and emotionally, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, I tried to continue to do that and be as well prepared as possible for the teams. It was really hard this year because I really didn't have any uh, historical data to go on about and what our opponents like to do generally, things like that. So um, I really had to pay attention and and try to uh, figure out on the fly a lot of things that I've, hopefully in the future we'll have uh, a grasp of going into the match rather than trying to sort things out in the middle of the okay. game. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a learning experience for me, and uh, hopefully next year I can do better. All right, now let, let's touch on that. Um, if there are any, what are the big takeaways uh, for points of improvement for, uh, for the team looking all the way in? I know it's early, but if you look to next year, what are a couple key takeaways you guys want to improve on? Well, I think our defending and as a group and not conceding soft goals because in a tough league like Centennial Conference, uh, it's really hard to fight back after falling behind. The teams are good enough to score good goals, so if you give them gifts, uh, it just makes the job that much harder. Um, so we need to be a little tighter in certain times of the game, important moments in the game we need to perform a little better. Um, our goal scored was tremendous. I think, I, I don't know the stats, I'm not a big stat guy, but you know we managed to score goals in a lot of games and a lot of goals in several games. So that was a huge positive. Um, I think we were a little bit short on collectively keeping the ball out of the net. And so that'll be something that we'll focus a little bit more on next year. All right, Coach, last question here for you. Uh, from here on out, the season just ended. Uh, what's next for the team? You can go as far as the end of the, uh, end of the school year. Well, <clears throat> we're, uh, we'll focus in the spring about uh, tightening up those things we just talked about defensively and our collective ability to combine. Or you, you come in in August players, it's a new combination of players. Um, I thought as the season went on, we really, we got better at the things we should have gotten better at, and that's combining with each other and knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. So we'll continue to, to focus on those type of things in the spring. Um, and then in the fall, again, we're going to be adding a whole new crop of players, and that kind of process starts all over. So the, the better the base we have leaving the spring season, uh, the easier that transition will be uh, come August. So I'm really proud of the girls, that the, the amount of games that we fought back in yeah. and scored the last goal, and the amount of games that we were the ones pressing the issue at the end of the match. Uh, that's impressive to me because we, we never once hung our heads and just conceded and said, you know, we can't match up. So 
that's a good sign that's something that i want our program to to that to be a marker of our program that we fight to the end and i think the girls did that this year so that was a huge thing for us so i also would like to <laughs> present <laughs> this shirt oh jeez uh, for a meritorious service <laughs> um, Thank you. It so. says you'll never walk alone on the back. Do you, which, do you want to describe to, to the viewers uh, just like the what the slogan means? Like how to yeah, come about? You know, I've appropriated it from Liverpool Football Club okay. and several other soccer clubs yeah. around the world. Um, basically what it means to us is once you're a member of the women's soccer program and you've been a part of it, um, we want you to feel welcome, feel part of any successes that we have, um, your coverage and and coming out and cheering the team on and, and speaking highly and, and being positive about the program, uh, that helps. All those little things help. We want our alumni and our players that are now leaving us to all feel welcome to come back and be a part and feel a part of any success we might have going forward. Great. So that's what that means. And uh, for your uh, service for the thank last – Thank you, Coach. Appreciate before it. Before <laughs> I got here and this year, appreciate thank you. it very much. No, it, it's been fun. Um, and, you know – Best of luck with the rest of uh, your coaching career here. And I'm definitely going to be following you. So, Coach, thanks. Appreciate it. It's been fun. You're welcome.